What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zillion, Zika Million, the villain, Filling Trilligan, and we are back on Dog and Rapa Good Divide Despair. Last episode, we actually learned Monokuma just straight up told us, like, straight up, flat out, Monami stole our memories, there's a traitor among us, and blah, blah, blah. He just told us straight up, chapter one. All the things that we had to painstakingly figure out in the last game, he just straight up told us this game. It's crazy. I don't know, but actually got shut the fuck up. I didn't tell I was like, Kelp was too solid. I ain't going out like my zone. Yo, cuss the last for the photo like Chanka. My face made perfect for the promo. She got a lot of time like Tonga. The way wrap around and the girls like, hold on. Hold on, we getting big body up in here. We getting big martial arts. She got a lot of time like Tonga. The way wrap around and the curls like the curl. Big body man is stronger than any metal you heard. Come and heat and blow up over of any metal you heard. A curl could have told her of any metal you heard. A total could have kind of randomly picked up the sherbet. Oh, what's up, Makoto? Oh, well, Nagito, if that's what you want to go by. I know who you are. Not everyone is as strong as Byakuya. I've never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but... My camera and my controller just keep turning off! I don't know why I keep doing that! It did it five freaking times! Five times within 30 seconds, bro! About to piss me off! Dang! It's more like I was just living my own life without thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Oh, I'm sorry, I was being too negative. Nah, I understand. I'm the same as well. But now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this, what'll make it is what what'll make us cling to hope. Yeah, you probably right. Bye now. Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. Um, best wishes to you, gang. I, I guess. Hey, what y'all doing? Why y'all hanging? Why all of y'all turn to look at me at the same time? That's creepy. What you got going on, uh, Mika? Mika? Hello. G good morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> Are you good? What is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? <laughs> My first time greeting someone, and I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um. Could you do it one more time? Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's adorable. What kind of life has she had? <laughs> Why do so many people hate you, bro? <laughs> How you doing? Jeez. Jeez, I'm so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. But if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweeps in my room. That's already fine. Um, um eating sweeps for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Hey. Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, listening to this ugly winch crying in the morning makes me so sick. Hiyoko, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. What the freak? Why is she so mean? <laughs> Leave her alone! Hey. Uh, good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks, I should throw bricks at somebody, prepare some yummy desserts and tea, and invite some people to come chat with me. Ah, just so you know, it's gonna be girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What are girls even talking about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go on ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. You shut up and get some moving. Why are you still here? Go to the restaurant! <laughs> what kind of life has she had? I don't know, that poor girl. 
I don't know how these people be treating her, but she don't deserve it. Several people were already at the restaurant. But nobody was talking, not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems like Fuyuhiko's not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. <laughs> ah! Dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf all the time like this? Maybe. Could he... Is he thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not! Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Well, he's Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. Rejoice? I have decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? A party? That's right. That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? P party till the sun comes up? This is your leader's order. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like that. Like partying, bro. Hmm. On the contrary, there is no better time than this. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait. Um, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you wanted to throw a party? Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But... Even so, I don't think it needs to last all night. Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> if I thought that, I would not. I would have made it clear from the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so terribly sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a division from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! <laughs> then let's party hard! In that case, I'll put on my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Uh, mm. Where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interferences from outsiders. A place where even Monokuma cannot enter. What I need is an enclosed space. An enclosed space? How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Um... Nor will the cottages with so many people, we would be all be pressed up against each other. Mm. I knew you was gonna say so. I knew you was gonna say something! I can't stop drooling. <laughs> I love his voice. Shut up! There's something wrong with you. <laughs> I can't believe how comfortable you are saying your perverted thoughts out loud. Hmm, <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everyone likes. <laughs> your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. Then how about that old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That run down place? You're right. Yeah. If we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However. Indeed. However, Manami has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. I have heard your conversation. Heard it with all my very own ears. I have good ears because I'm a rabbit. I see. So you use your ears. That's strange. Huh? Hmm. Then what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Ah, she looks disappointed. That's fine. Well, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes. If it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. 
together. That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Understand? Do yourself a favor and stay away from Miri's. Miri's, you'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> Your kind words make me want to cry. Um, so we're all good with the whole old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Wow. I have never done the dirty... I never dur... I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I'm excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! No way! There's no way we can clean up. We can, we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Aww. Nah, I don't want to do it either. Jeez. What? Nobody's gonna do it. Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing. Actually. To be honest, I already I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this was gonna happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws a chopstick with a red mark in it would be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment. Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. Alright. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everyone took turns pulling their chopsticks and Nikito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done. What? Uh-huh, I'm left with the red mark? For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Well. Uh, I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you make a good stay-at-home dad. Are you coming on to him? I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. <laughs> All right. First, I need to prepare my ingredients, and I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I, Teru Teru Hanamura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then... Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cotton co cottage. I do not like this music. There's still some time left for the party. There's no way I can spend it staring in space in my room. I have free time! This music is so hot. Oh crap, what the freak, what the freak, what the freak. Uh, let's see what's crack a lapping and dipping and dopping and bipping and bopping and flooping and flopping it. Crack a lapping and dipping and dopping and flooping and flopping and hipping and scopping and bopping and hopping and hopping and dopping and up and up and up and I see you up and I'm getting the popping and hunting and hunting and hunting and copping and hunting and flipping and flopping and hopping and hopping and dopping it. I see you up and addicted to popping and. I see your apple I'm addicted to popping and hunting and something and happen and flopping and hitting and up and hitting and dropping and hitting and hunting and copping and Calm down. If it's a party, there should be got a good food. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. I can't stop drooling. Yeah, let's hang out with Akane. <laughs> what? You're looking forward to it too? Then want to exercise before we eat that tasty food? I ran across the beach with Akane and wore myself out. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Yeah, let's give her a present. What do I have? By the way, I'm gonna let y'all know. Y'all will never see the presents I give y'all. I will y'all will never see the presents I give them. I will forever get I will forever gatekeep. If this is your first time, if you if if you're wondering what the best presents to give them is, you're never gonna know. If I happen to give them a good present, you're never gonna know. If I don't give them a good present, you're not even gonna see the aftermath of it. I'll give her this. <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, this one, this one! I gotta have this one. As long as I got one of these, I'll be good to go for 10 days. Yo! Hey, you! Huh? What's up? Um... What's your name again? It's Hajime. Hajime Hinata. <laughs> Alright, that sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, sorry, I keep forgetting somehow. I remember it easy if you keep giving me food or something. Are you an animal or something? Yo. Oh well, later. Hey, wait, hold on! We just started talking! Mm. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have low fighting power. You need me to beat the crap out of you? And prove that my fighting power is higher? 
I, sh I got over 9,000. Keep playing with me. I'll break your scouter. Just from looking at you, you're probably around a two. I don't deal with anything lower than trash, you know? What kind of measurement system is that? Like, why are you focusing on fighting power? It doesn't matter in gymnastics, right? Huh? Gymnastics? What are you talking about? I mean, you're the ultimate gymnast, right? <laughs> oh, that. Setting records and winning competitions is easy money. Money? You're just doing it for the money? What? Yeah, that's right. I've been doing it since, like... I I've been doing it since this really persistent old man convinced me to give it a try. I've been running and jumping all over the place ever since I was a kid. Mm. You know, it's, uh... What's it called again? That thing where you run non-stop through a bunch of cluttered areas? Is it kind of talking about that? When you keep... Is it parkour? When you keep running as you jump through obstacles and... Parkour? Is that parkour? I got it. Ah, that's it. That's exactly it. That's what the old man called it, too. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you got people chasing uh, chasing you, you just naturally end up doing parkour when you're running away from- WERE YOU COMMITTING CRIMES?! You should try chasing me sometimes, I seriously won't get caught. What kind of situations do you get into when you do parkour in the middle of the city? Bro, she had her robbing banks, bro! What the freak?! She's pretty crazy, but I'm a little jealous of how cheerful she is. After continuing my mostly one-sided conversation with Akane, I left the area. Akane is one of my favorite characters so far. I'm rocking with her. She's a silly little Billy. Let me talk to- Okay! Alright, Miss Jumpscare. A party, huh? I'm not that good with social events. Hang out with Peko! Yes. I have no reason to decline. Let's talk for a bit. I spent time today talking to Peko over tea at the restaurant. Let's give her a present. What would she like? I see. Hmm, what an interesting item. Thank you, Hajime. I shall use it well. Hey. You mentioned earlier you don't know much about swords, right? Yeah, I ain't never held a bamboo in my life. However, people cannot be judged by their appearances. So you've actually, so you've held a so actual sword, just not a bamboo sword. No, of course not. I've only ever held toy swords, not bamboo or real swords. I see. I see. So you're saying you have no use for a sword? What do you want about? <laughs> then how are you? Then are you a striker? Or maybe you're a grappler. I don't fight. I just like I hit a domain expansion, like, and then I get I get rocked in my job because that's anime. Like, it's not real. No. No. Perhaps you're well versed in firearms. I mean, shoot, I could shoot somebody. FBI, I'm lying. Wait, hold on. What are you yapping about? Let me explain it more clearly. I completely suck at all those things. I'm not saying I have poor reflexes, but I know I'm not the warrior type. I see. Given your strangely perceptive way of seeing things, I assume that you were, but... However... Just as you said, you do not have the presence of a warrior. Even if you lost your actual memories, you would not so easily lose your muscle memory. Basically. Which means you are not suited for battle in the slightest. I feel insulted. I don't know why, but I feel insulted. Paco gave me a terse stare, and I couldn't help but f help feeling a tingle run up my spine. What do you mean by that? Is she trying to figure out my talent? Does she want to know what it is just in case I pose a threat? I mean, I don't intend to fight nobody. I don't. I definitely don't want to do that. Like, all these people here, like, at least 70% of the people here will rock me on my jaw. Like, I'm not, I want no problems. Understood. I see. If that's the case, we must be extremely cautious of those two. Anyway. They know the difference between weakness and strength, and they can compensate for each other's weakness. And they both have impressive offensive capabilities. If those two formed an alliance, they could truly pose an unmanageable threat. Who? Who are you on about?
I don't know! Who are you on about? Who was Ibuki? I forgot who Ibuki was. I know Mikan is the... It's not her. Who is Kazuichi? Akane and Nakamura, maybe? A dangerous alert. Are you talking about Akane and Nakamaru? Yes. Though they would only fight in self defense, they are both perfectly at ease doing it. Who is Nakamaru? Oh, him! Yeah, they would be a pretty terrible duo. That would be horrible. Plus, the combination of an impressive athlete and team manager poses a formidable threat. Not just that, though they don't specialize as fighters, their fighting prowess is incredibly high. <laughs> However, if something were to happen. Hey, 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 what you talking about? It's, it's pretty weird you're assuming we need to fight them in the first place. We'll get out of this place if we cooperate with each other. Why do we need to think about fighting anymore? Hajime, you speak the truth. I too would prefer to avoid any senseless killing. However, However there are times when swords must be drawn, whether you want that or not. What does that mean? Every human being has a duty to fulfill their destiny. That will never change, and there is no need for it to ever change. Hey. However, I do not dislike your way of thinking, Hajime. Huh? A Peko! Even though I called for it, she just walked away without looking back at me once. Thought I was understanding Peko, but it seemed like she's just a waffler. Good night, he says. <laughs> Whatever, I have a party to attend. I wanna hit my, um, I wanna hit, I wanna hit, I wanna hit, I wanna, I wanna, uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay, yeah, I wanna hit the store. Yow! I saw you. How's it going, girl? Oh, my, my. Oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway. What are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Taratero's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's an ultimate cook. Hey, y'all need to stop disappearing on me like that. One of y'all gonna get popped in y'all jaw. He playing with me. <laughs> it's about time for the party. I'm really excited. Um... I'll do my best not to be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you really worrying about something like that? Aww. Yes! You can stay as long as you want, okay? No, no, you're, you're good, alright? You're good. You're good. How you doing? Why are you so tall? Get your boobs out my face! I let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't seem too pleased about it. At least you tried. Alright. Let's get going. <laughs> Monokuma pops up like, what y'all doing? Oh my goodness, chubby chubs, huh? <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. Body check? Hey, you gonna grab my nuts, bro, chill. Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Bro, watch where your hands go. If I feel your hands grab my nuts, it's over with. Byakuya went ahead and thoroughly searched me, started with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Huh? It was at that moment I noticed a strange item near where Byakuya was standing. Metal cases. What? 
Doralaman, Doralaman, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for, well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said, <laughs> look, I'm not gonna lie. In the first game, a lot of his little poses and stuff and sprites were cold. They were cold, but now it's just goofy. <laughs> I guess that's the end of our talk. But he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. What did he mean by emergencies only? I feel you, gang. I feel you, gang of Melanche. Dang, they did not clean up. M <laughs> Bro, Nagito, you did not clean up at all. This is terrible. You gotta do a better job than this, dude. You ain't get, you ain't even hit the spider webs. You you could have took that down, hit the spider webs, hit the spider web. You know, just fix that up a little bit. You didn't even bother to close this. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Bow, wow, wow. Yippee yo, yippee yay. Death rose in the mother. His ow. Y'all already know me. I gotta check everything. This turbo control for the air conditioning. One of the filters clean. I should go to the dining hall for now. No, we need to look at everything. That's a, a circuit breaker. Why is it all the way up there? How's anyone supposed to reach it? More importantly, I should go to the dining hall for now. We can go to the dining hall after we take note of everything in this building. Keep freaking playing with me, I'm gonna shoot you. Look at all these cuties, bro. Like, adorable. Look at this muscular, cute man. You can keep your tip, you can keep your boobs in my face. Uh. Hit the storage room. Bro, did not clean up. Irons. Yeah, I'm actually kind of with Nagito here. I mean, not Nagito, with um, Hajime here. I, I'm just trying to, I, I don't care anymore. Why you jiggle like that? So this is what the inside looks like. There's so many gaps in the wooden floors. Is that because it's so old? I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even little things seem exciting. You must not have friends, bruh. How you doing, Gengi? Why you bro? There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Jeez. However, Byakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Oh, I gotta go to the dining hall? Come on. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get out of the dining hall in the back. Wait. Wait, where's the dining hall at? That's the kitchen. Oh! I'm stupid! I thought I thought I was looking at that when it said kitchen. I'm, I forgot about this door. I thought this was that door. I'm stupid. I apologize for my stupidity. I apologize for my stupidity. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep. I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I can handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. All right, what's y'all, what, 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 what everybody here yapping about? What you got going on, Hiyako? Gross. That creep Byakuya rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys too. <laughs> so, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know. Why, why are you in demand? You're, you're kidding. Why are you in demand? You look like a child. You should not be in demand. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. 
If he finds out we're having this party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. Yeah, you are right. We should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. So we're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Thank you for wondering. Hmm. This little place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went through all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of the deterioration? Don't, don't, don't those openings seem dangerous to you? Yeah, you're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is a type of trip over nothing. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> let, let me not hate on him, because I actually like him. Let me not hate on him. <laughs> let everyone's happy. He's such a nice guy. He's gotta be the killer. <laughs> Good instincts. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it. Oh, you're talking about. I thought you were talking about um, Nagita. I was about to get mad. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Shut up! Ah. Man, I was so uncomfortable. Getting groped and fingered so thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean a body check? How annoying. Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But Byakuya put it in that Duralaman case of his. Oh man. I'll cry about it. Okay, don't look at me like that. I'm not food. Hey, what's up? It's pointless. He completely focused on the food. So what am I doing? Am I just look at the table? A lot of fancy looking party dishes. Do I gotta look at everything? Is that what it? A lot of tasty looking party dishes. Meat. Ah, show the meat. Make you feel complete. Iron plates. That reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. Why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? All oh, is not what it appears to be. Ah. Stay back. One of my forest devas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window. Let me tell you. There this. are no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering me. Why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my domain. Shut up! You're not Batman! Sandy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are uh, hey why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lives gasp their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess I'm gonna have to do with it, but this place shows a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent progeny, pr protagonist, what? <laughs> Ring through the dining hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hm. Go! Terra Terra was in the kitchen and appears Fuyuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez. It's not like you need to. <laughs> Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Tekko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, hmm? Come on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Bryakuya's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Not possible. Dangerous. <laughs> Bro! Why they doing him like that, dog? They didn't even do that. To, they didn't even do that to freaking um. They didn't even do that to.
I forgot bro's name. That the, the fat dude in Trigger Happy Havoc. The um the dude that liked anime. They didn't even do that to him, bro. Why they doing that to Byakuya? My bad. I had to lock in real quick so I could remember his name, but I couldn't do it anyway. Yo! Yo, Joe! No! You're hogging all the food! No fair! No, I'm not. I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. That sounds like an excuse to eat! Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the- Huh? Oh, oh what's a messy eater ruin the arrangement? Hm. Who made this dish? Um, That would be me, but uh, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Dangerous? No. That's a churrasco. That's a churrasco. It's a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer and cook it. Mm. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for Santa right there in front of him. My condolences. <laughs> Byakuya's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. What you got going on, gang? Let's go. All right, this is the kitchen. We have to. F <laughs> we have to totally expect it. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakuya began searching the old kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. These forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those too. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Byakuya threw the forks and knives into the Duralemon case, one after the other. We're being very thorough about this. Bro doesn't want nobody to die. Can I blame him? Can you blame him? Various types of knives, but these... What? Out of the question, knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me, I'll safeguard them. Byakuya grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into the case with the rest. Of course. Huh. What else is there? A huge piece of meat on a bone. He sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat that much food. It seems there's no dangerous items like that skewer and the chibacasso earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Woo! I wouldn't have known what to do if you said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Is that it? Are we straight? Paper is... I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 25 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There also appear- there are also iron plates for barbecue, and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove, I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. What? Is it the frying pans? Hey, is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What? What do you mean? I was just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. 
After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly, I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect my susceptible I suspect my that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Byakuya has a past he can't talk about. Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in that this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be a good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, the past you mentioned that's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day there would definitely be a time when I will tell you when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have some deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than th deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly talk. Hey, enough with unnecessary banter. We better we better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, I got it. Sure works as hard. That's probably more aligned with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? Why? Oh, the kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Oh, huh? uh, there's no knives or forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat myself. I literally just said that I removed all the dangerous items. You're kidding, right? Don't tell me you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items. No, 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 no. Well, most of the dishes are finished, and all I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But, but still! Ah! Hajime! Yo, get off of me! Eh? Eh, not in that sort of thing, huh? Well, that's a little depressing. No! Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Before you start getting off flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. Mm. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is all... Stuff is still bound to go... Somebody's planning a mur Somebody's about to die. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in the old building, right? If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? You're right. There's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. All right, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Terra Terra. Come to the dining hall for now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Hey, but he's leading though. He's leading though. Uh, oh, they're finally back. Hey, hey. Hey, let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Lies. Uh, an, an issue? All right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for you. That's enough. That wouldn't be necessary. The issue is why safe The issue is where to safeguard this Duralumin 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 men case that has all the confiscated dangerous items can't we just leave it here hmm. i've already put a lock on the case which so shouldn't be a problem but we should definitely put up put up the we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe um someplace safe oh there's a storage room in the back of this old building i see a storage room huh even so we can't leave the case alone there then, then someone should guard it that would keep it safe yes Eh, who, who? I'll do it, of course. Uh, are you sure? I, I guess if you insist. Just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm not really that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in a Storage Room. However. However, Tara Tara has gone through the trouble of cooking. Is it alright if I bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But, but if you're gonna do guard duty anyway, it might be better to avoid the storage room. Uh, why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. Also, I was busy cleaning the dining hall 
But I didn't even have time to clean the swords. Yeah, if you stayed in there a long time, I think it'd be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get it going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the Dur Duralaman case and a plate piled with food, Pecco left the dining hall. I see. I see. Hmm. Seeing Miss Pecco's back as she walks away, we feel like she's got this super cool, melancholy vibe. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken that other case with her too? <laughs> this. No, this case is fine. That's weird. Ah, uh, no fair. You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This dirt. Du <laughs> this case stays with me at all times. I've put the key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party! Stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Ah, uh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already! Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh, are you talking about- That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. I'll show you my serious- Alright! So you'll let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on! Wait a sec! If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're gonna end up perforated. Move! Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Hey! Star starve to death? That's a little extreme. Hmm. Our opponent is not someone we could just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You. Hey, hey. Hey, now, what can a girl like you do? You just gotta put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to utilize Monami? Yep. Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. She's kind of stupid, though. I feel like that'll work against us. Ah, uh, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily ma easily manipulated. Oh! Plus, Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So it's settled, right? Then we can... You're right, let's begin. Oh, goodness! I'm sorry. All right! Fine. So the banquet has finally commenced. You better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. Whatever the reason is, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're eating right now! You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! Dude, you psychopath! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. Th that's rather scary. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself! Oh my goodness! Chill! I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey everyone, while we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do! This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight. <laughs> bro, somebody's about to be dead. Somebody's about to be dead, bro. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who developed a sense of unity. Uh, Nekomaru, did something happen? 
This party's just started, but I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me. Don't stop me, Byakuya. There comes a time when a man knows he's got to go. If I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Sure. Crapping my pants would totally shame me as a man! So he was talking about the toilet. What? If you need to use a the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why didn't you go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? Wh what is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible. My hellhound hearing has disappeared. Did it vanish into the subspace? Calm down. You probably just dropped it somewhere. Shut up! Don't you dare! Hey, is it really alright if I eat all this? Don't be an idiot! Make sure you leave some for me! Come on! Hey, Byakuya, everyone, come on! I'm gonna take a picture! Say cheese! Say cheese! Hey, why can't you all act a little more mature? What? What was that sound just now? Huh? It's dark all of a sudden. Blackout? A blackout? Hey, I can't see anything. And that is that we all, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. And sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness, therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervent, fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Ah. At that moment, when our lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <gasps> that, that is... Mikan's ex appearance had been completely compromised. How do you manage to do that? Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment. <laughs> no! Please don't! Please don't look at me! <laughs> I can't take this at all! Mahiru! It's time to snatch some shots! <laughs> there, there's no way I can do that. How? How? I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad the lights are back on here too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi? You were unusually useful this time. Hey. Oh, well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Ah, uh, then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't who knows me? You're so useless! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not my fault, you know! There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness! Oh my! What happened? Sonya, did something happen? Um... N no, Byakuya is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Uh, Byakuya? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakuya who promised he would lead us in situations like this was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. 
I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room. So can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, you got it. For now. Then I guess I'll go look in the office. Then. I shall go look in the hallway. <laughs> I'll wait here since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyway. She is still going to eat without this is going on. Mm. I must. Bathroom. Sure. I must man up and check the bathroom. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez. Jeez, Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout? <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face of punishment. Even so, where the bell could you go? I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. Please, no, please. <laughs> Please, no, don't, please don't do this to me. Please, please don't do this. Please don't do this to me. Please, please, please don't do this. Okay. Um. I have searched the hallway. There's no sign of Byakuya. Hold on, hold on. Let me check in here. I said, let me just check in here right quick. Everything okay in here, Pekka? Everything okay, Pekka? Where's Pekka? Where's Pekka? It's just what it looks like. Byaku is not here. In fact, nobody's here. Doesn't that seem odd? Now that you mention it, wasn't Pekka supposed to be in this room? Hmm. I know, right? Isn't it weird? Why is she missing too? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Don't, don't kill the goat. Don't kill the goat. Don't kill the goat. Please don't kill the goat. Don't do this to me. No, 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 no! Chiaki and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Uh, Hajime, what about the party? Oh. It's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Nope. Byakuya? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. Nobody came out. Does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Hey. Ah, uh, Hashimi, how did it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's. That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange. No. Nobody was in the office? That's weird. Huh? What about Pekka? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekka was there. Huh? Pekka was gone too? Hmm. Maybe those who took advantage of the blackout and have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Um. Did something happen to Kane? Well, do any of you smell something? Well, when partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed. Uh, you're, uh, you're talking about farting. Yes. I don't. I don't care. It's not like that. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Wait. It smells like blood. Blood. Mm. As the kind of nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. <sighs> It's coming from over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. The smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? It's under there. Under the table. I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness, fear? Why am I so nervous? It can't be, it obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shot, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go.
<sighs> okay. Um. So basically, I should kill myself is what you're telling me, right? Uh. Huh. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw, I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami already dead and beyond recognition. I just stood there horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? What is this? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Th this is impossible! Are you kidding me? Don't mess with me! It must be some kind of mistake! This, this can't be blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce. Cause if not this... What the hell? Good gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yeah! My, my, now this is interesting. Thrills, chills, kills! On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder. Could it be? Hold on, then does this mean... <laughs> of course. Byakuya was killed by one of you. Of course. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <laughs> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this, if this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Byakuya was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies! You're lying that he was murdered! Murder. The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body, which means that I've accepted the fact that Byakuya was murdered. What is this? Could, could it be? Is that really Byakuya? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why Byakuya? I see, I see! It appears Fuyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Class trial? Hey, um... I've already explained this to you, right? One of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blacken. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct! That's right! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible! It can't be someone actually killed! There's no way! <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us killed Byakuya? There's no way. Something like as hopeless as that would never happen. No, no, no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Yeah. Come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blacken. And it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, hey, hey what are you saying? You can't. Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there's only one truth. On my grandfather's... You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... Please. Grave, your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Plane. Bro, what are you on about? Emergency. What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Is there? Can do I? 
Do I have the button to make them laugh? Yeah. It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. Did you see that? This stunning display of power? Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> uh, if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's leave the, let's leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovely doubt and dubby deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. I wish you the best of luck! And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What is this? What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. A search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... Um, you can't doubt each other because you're all friends. I'm starting to think Monomi is evil, bro. Because if you if you know that somebody was murdered and that we have to find who the killer was to make our way out of here and you're telling us not to find the killer, clearly you just want us all to die. Understand? But Mr. Ham Hands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? right. That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you. No, friends dining friends is a major no-no. Shut, Shut up. Shut up. Just go away already, you useless piece of trash. Oh, uh, Threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? But... No, I don't want to do something like that. No. I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However. However, it's just as Hiyoko said. If we're gonna get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death. I'll do my best to prove that there's no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need, what we need is to... What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm gonna survive this, then I have to fight it. Um... Uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In Close Circle Detective Games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be really bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. Destroyed the evidence? Pointing. Look over there. That big, bulky, brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. <laughs> what the heck? What happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. Can I- I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate a body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, Mahiru. Uh, uh, um, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes. I have medical training, so if it's not too much, I can perform an autopsy, please. Um. So you're going to stay as well. Is that okay? <laughs> And what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on the beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hey. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakuya. <laughs> but to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cool. But I have no choice, right? There's no way I, I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. Ah. <laughs> but I'm in. You are right. If we are going to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this 
is the only thing is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive finding out who our killer is that's our only hope for survival something like this is hope even so i still got to do it what you thought it was time for investigation but i was wondering where that was just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a monokuma file? I don't like this. Jeez, explaining all the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Who are you? Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain. Let's see. The monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known as Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Nice, you say. You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? My, 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 Monami. The meaningless mascot. You're still here? You stupid brother. Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Ouchie, don't pull my ears. They're going to come off. They're finally gone. Thank God. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I'll just look over it just in case. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat, the abdo abdomen region resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So Byakuya really is dead. Dang it. You promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now I'll never know what you were gonna say to me. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did it even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor. No way. Just because he said a lot of serious things, that doesn't mean he was a traitor. What am I thinking? I have the truth bullets. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Dang, man. All right, that's the end of this. Um, I hope you guys and it's it's kind of ironic in a way, man. Cause all throughout the last game, I was hating on Byakuya. It was always like Byakuya is the killer. Byakuya is gonna die this this chapter. I want Byakuya dead. Kill Byakuya. It was all of that. But like he had his, he had his little humbling character development and now it's like now that he's actually dead i'm upset like it's it's, it's weird bro but that's the end of the episode peace out i love you guys if you enjoy it like and subscribe oh for real y'all gotta tap in